kitupendo veche njanga jamani. Tunajui mambu ya watu kusema hivi hivi. Alafu kidogo mtu wataki ku make everything clear. So what happened? Let's talk Ruth Matete. She's been on like kuleja watupe mongile marakadha on the show. And it was due to unfortunate circumstances. The loss of her husband. But now let us. Nilisema leo tuneza throwback. That's the still the way it just come in hand. It has just. It may happen, yeah. but this is what happened. Um, back in the day, you remember, you guys, we knew her after she won TPF. She won five million shillings, right? Mm -hmm. Kenyan yes. shillings, yeah. huh? So that time she was dating a certain guy by the name Tony. Tony ali kwanga former um, actor pale kwenye Tidy High. And exactly, ali kwenye Tisaida. So kijana wanye kidogo ikasemekana, ali kula hela za msichana na kaenda mitini. But now, <laughs> eh, to this guy, Ruth has never like, you know, talked about it ile kwadresi issue. Because from him, it was like, this has been a lie yenye mearibu maisha angu. Because now everyone calls me a gold digger. Ati nilitumia pesake. And then when it was done, I just left her kwa my lights and I disappeared. So, kijana wa inyewe, ukiona mwanaume, anenda kulilia social media. Jua, ni kume, ya, ni kubaya, kume dhoka, kume, kume dhoka. So this is what aliandika. Um... Ilishindwa, ilish, I think ilikuwa nafaikuwa ni ilishindwa hata kuongea. Watu waliona mimi ndio ni kama ndikula hiyo do. Hata alikuwa na ulizwa manze, hasemi anything to some point. Hajui kama alini spoil ya life. Mimi nilimjua kama hiyo do haiko. Na sidhani Ruth ni dame fala. Ati mwanaume atakama kule do yake. Huyo dame si fala hiyo kiasi. Eish msi. Mm. At least angambia wase, huyu mse relationship ni totally different. But challenges ilikuwa kama any other relationship. Yeah. The fact that tulikuwa maselebi yo time. Watu walibonga but mimi si kuongea. So the guys like, my guys, I didn't eat nobody's money. I, di I was not a gold digger. I wasn't like using her because of the money she won. And he just feels bad because who has never come out to address this but i'm like brah eight years ago why are you, you know, reminding us right now up, <laughs> to be honest why is it eight. coming up in conversation? I, you, uh, me, I don't know. You don't even know. Triple one, triple four, triple one. Tell us, Maono. Eight years. Plus, man, the, can we just let this one woman be? She's just been going through so much. And you're adding on top of that, really? Even Imagine. as a human being. You know, you know, by a kukua human mm. and you, you cannot be human. There's a reason you're a human being. You know, yeah. like his own story. Unge tuambia two years into your, you know, uh, your <laughs> breakup. Yeah. But eight years, uni mtu wako na mimba, that's probably a shaza. But alleged, mina sema tu, uh, probably. Tuko, okay. Okay. But you, you get Tony it. Tony ya tatuambia ima. Tony ya relax. We will keep you posted. Tony ya relax. Kano jia Tony tilienda the same. Oh, ala, ni beshti ako. We've seen what you've done. We've seen what you've done. Jomona na wapeleka next story very fast. Tupeleke tu. Okay, so this one is... um one that involves my power couple my ultimate couple kenyan celebrities this is nameless and wahoo and uh, wahoo a couple of days ago came on to social media and uh, she told us that she had been sexually molested as a nine-year-old girl and that the mom mamake may trust nephew wake abaki achunge mtoto as she goes to chunaskuma wiki kwa shamba and in those few minutes this guy uh, really uh, sort of like sexually molested Wahoo. And when uh, uh, she got iked about all of this, uh, the way of apologizing by this man was, I'm sorry, see, then you also touch me the same way. Okay. And Wahoo says, I was nine years old. It still hurts and it's upsetting when I think about it. And her, he, she went ahead to give advice to parents to be like, do not allow your child, do not be over trusting with male uh, and even for the, uh, the the boys as well, wale wanawake unawacha around. Like parents just be overprotective with your children, blah, 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 blah. So she talked about all of that and explained what she had gone through. And uh, now after that, the reason we're talking about this today is because Nameless has come out to offer help to sexually abused individuals after the wife came out to uh, talk about her situation or her experience as a nine-year-old. And she said, he said that he does not want this to happen to anyone else. And he went on to share the therapist details that he's urging individuals who've been sexually abused to take this number and seek help. And he's going around with the hashtag to Julishane to ZD. I think I should just give the number. Uh, yes. Our advice is to call the number 0800-0800-722-022. I think this is a fro uh, free toll number. Yeah. So, this is the campaign that he is uh, pushing right now to be like, you know what? It can happen to anybody, but yeah. you need help. Yeah. Because ukiwa nine years, utambia nani? 
I know. Atta, probably mm. you're very confused. You don't yeah. really know what really happened. Mm. And uh, it's so sad. That's why I think he left a heated conversation here talking about Shul's history. Castration. Castration. And we were very, we were strongly suggesting. Really? Yeah. 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 Manze vitu kwa izindo zinafe kuchukulua like the most it's a genius whatever right. so punishment mtu mm. anafe kupatio inafe yeah. kwa like I don't even know because yeah. things like this zinafe to say all through your life, your life. yeah you're traumatized That's forever true. and then as a, as a mom your natural instinct is you know to protect your child and I remember there's this time uh, my house was not as big and I was like my cousin came to visit a guy and then like my daughter was in the other room so akuna place ingekuwa so like nilichukua mtoi wangu imagine tulalala and then the dad was like nini nini mbona unamwamsha kutoka kwa bed and it's because of traumatic events that really happened in my yeah. life and i totally understand where wa who is coming from yeah. Th that thing changes you for Completely. ever yeah. you don't trust men you 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 walk around carrying traumas everywhere and considering she's everywhere. a mother of two girls yeah. a nameless yeah. as well a father of two girls exactly. yeah. then you would do whatever it takes to protect yeah. your child yeah. well, and you then, need to be very very very, very like walk as at a certain yeah, walk but you just need to be very alert when it comes to your children because yeah. these things happen as ne kwatu zinafanyika tu chini ya mapo yako in your house yeah. without you knowing it's so it's usually the very people that you know anywho let me take you to the next story and diamond Diamond WCB. Sijuangi ni nini yo wendelea uko. Like there's been stories about these people. Uh, wakona. Is it uh, either toxic relationship. Wamechapana. Ama uyu sijue. They are cheating. Serial cheaters. Anyway today I am talking about. Ayo Liza. <laughs> <laughs> that's how their music. That's their producer. It's called Liza. Now Liza is newly wedded. His wife. Nini nini. But now the wife who is called. Who goes by the name. Uh. Bebe underscore Naj na lafu kwa bayo yake amejita Mrs. Liza went ahead to open up about a recent fight that they engaged with the Liza, yeah. So her face is looking very unrecognizable. Akona red marks kundwa. Sema kuchapwa. Sema kuchapwa. So this is what she wrote on Instagram. Kupigwa hivi eti ndoa no. Wewe Liza nimekuambia private naona unajitoa akili sasa unataka tulilizane Insta leta talaka I, I think she meant talaka but it's in. leta talaka please baba yangu mpaka anakufa hajawahi nipiga hata konzi kwani we nani unanipiga kofi niwe hivi huna adabu and she actually tagged Liza classic <laughs> wow. so yes <laughs> we the other time we were talking about another celebrity when you take it in from Tanzania. Yeah, yeah, right. she like, she's a lady, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember her name, but I'm like, yo, girl, she can, but you are whatever you drink and step on it. Yeah, no. You know, you 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 know, as in to know, you and I just want to be like, oh, like, I'm 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 like, yeah. Eh? Inashanga. Hata sipoangalia kama mekublock. Kila mtu anajua nani. Uh, exactly. Inashanga tu inafika point ah. gani nimekufanya nini unichape unipendi and you're looking at me crying. Unaniekelea tu. Like ni nini yeye unanipiga hivyo? Hiyo ni ile kitu kusha mesema. Like, I don't yeah. need reason. Eh. <laughs> Ni mapepo mtu wangu. And I'm sorry to say like if a man has tendencies to like you know beat you up and you know ameza kurushia mikono ama kidogo na ku threaten from you know joa the abusive yeah. eh, kinda Traits. exactly yeah. akonizo vitu. Jamani jua ni tabia yenye yako na usiati kitu itabadilika tamka one day na change. Uh -uh. Dalili ya mvua ni nini? Mawingu. Ndio hivyo sasa kuimba hiyo wimbo. Eh. Kama mawi mbi yote. Ah, siyo hiyo. Okay, sawa. Ida, ata mina shangani. Okay, sawa. Mina shangani ni gani ya mawi. Let me take you guys to, okay, let me take you guys to the States. 